You won their game by refusing to compete. See, they thought they had it all planned out. They'd figure out what you wanted, hide it from you, knock you down, and then steal it. And then, if you figured it out, you'd fight them for it. But they didn't realize is that what's yours is yours, and you have faith in God, and you have faith in the laws of karma, the laws of justice. You and God are tight. You knew God wasn't gonna let a bunch of karmic rats and mice chew away and take away the blessing that's yours. So you claimed it inside, and you basked in the fulfillment of your victory. And they came at you, and they came at you, and they're wondering, why aren't you upset? Why aren't you reacting? Because you see, karmics have very tiny minds. They're ruled by desire. They cannot imagine being in the world without seeing the world through the lens of these shallow, selfish desires. So when they tried to put you in a competition for your own blessings, they couldn't help but imagine that you would be the same way towards God's gift for your life. Because they live without God. They see life as a competition, a zero-sum competition. And they use their minds thinking they're so clever, they try to outwit their opponent. And they gain things secretly while pretending to be nice and lovable on the surface. And they come with many hordes of other karmic followers, and they move in a herd mind, and they feel invincible once they've thought it all through. But what they don't understand is that we live in a multi-dimensional universe, a multiverse with countless different timelines available at any given moment. What they don't realize is that God rules everything. And when God lays down the law, they have no choice but to follow. But you knew this. And so throughout your life, you did the work to face your shadows and ensure that you could maintain a connection to the Most High. And when your season came, and this is that season, when the blessings are here to be received. Instead of freaking out, in the bait to compete for what's already yours, you went inward, connected with source, claimed what was yours on the inside, and rested in peace, allowing them to spin themselves out through whatever means, projecting their own toxic ways onto you with black magic and lechery of all sorts, and you laugh. And if you haven't laughed yet, I'd encourage you to laugh right now, because victory is yours. The only thing you have to do to receive everything God's given you is claim it and never let go within. And then go about your day feeling, basking in the glow of that victory. And all the armies in the world can't take away from you what God's given you. And as you hold strong to this inner knowing, circumstances evolve, opportunities arise, hidden helpers come to your aid. And you begin to recognize that you are cosmic royalty and you deserve to be treated as such. And as you rise, all those bitter karmic clowns who sought to dethrone you and steal your crown become burdened by the backfire of all the toxic crap they tried to place onto you. Not because you hold them with contempt and animosity, but because they were the embodiment of hatred and animosity. They thought they were playing a game that they could win, while in truth, they were but losers all along. Claim your blessings with me. Rest in your throne with peace. And let's celebrate this victory. Feel it in your bones. It is here. And only with claiming of what is eternally, with total certainty and self-assurance, can we truly rest assured that it will find us from without.